is three rounds in a catch weight bout at 64 kilos. If you listen to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing CMAC. Bringing to the cage a record of nine wins, five losses, and one draw. Please welcome Jordan Bradshaw. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, representing Ryan O'Causey, making his eighth amateur appearance inside the cage tonight. Please welcome Patrick Dolan. Absolutely huge fight and prospect here at a catch weight of 64 kilos. Jordan Bradshaw representing C Mike in the green shorts. Blue RDX gloves, blue trim, taking on Paddy Doran, green shorts, black gloves, red trim. Both these men, very experienced martial artists. Jordan Bradshaw, of course. Lovely head kick there from Bradshaw. I was just saying to you during the walkouts, Joe, that Bradshaw is an incredibly cerebral fighter. Very, very intelligent, has a wealth of experience. Yeah, you can, you can tell how he's managing the range here. He's throwing a beautiful, a beautiful combination right work. Left kick. You know, there's nothing better than watching a southpaw fight when they know what tools to throw. Mm. And he's throwing that left cross beautifully. Multiple time medalist and look at the way he's changing stances. He's you can see he just exudes a calm. He lands his shot, gets out of the pocket he beautifully. Pa pulled down with the right jab and nice. then in with the right left cross. It was honestly just Nice shot to the body from Paddy Doran. He is, of course, himself a former All-Ireland K1 champion. Yeah, these both, both these oh. guys look very good on the feet. Fantastic leg kick there, just taking the pop out of the step of Bradshaw. Doubling up on the jab is Doran, trying to close that distance. You know, both these guys clearly good technicians. Oh, just shy with the uppercut. Game of inches right there for uh, Bradshaw. Like, oh, beautiful head movement. Beautiful head movement. Uh, Dorn got Bradshaw now against the cage with a body lock. I was telling you about those wee like rabbit shots yep. earlier. Of Brad, like if you if you commit to the, the 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 body lock, then you expose your face to these wee rabbit shots, and they can be really really sore oh, enough to put your opponent off. Big foot stomp there from Dorn. Dorn has been working diligently on his grappling. Recently promoted to BJJ blue belt. Yeah. Head position here is key for Doran. Yeah, he's making things very beautifully turned by Bradshaw. But he, he's, he has to be careful here not to give up the back position. You've seen that momentarily. It looked like yeah. Doran was just going to switch. Yeah. It's the problem when you're against the cage and you've got that overhook. You leave your back exposed. But, you know, uh, Bradshaw's doing a very good job here. But, you know, very tactical uh, scrambles in here in this clinch position. Bradshaw trying to get in on the neck here. Momentarily, it's very, it very tight on the neck. Good beautiful escape scramble. From Framing off the face beautifully there is Bradshaw. Trying to create just those little pockets of space that he can land the shots in. It's very important whenever you have your opponent in this position against the cage to keep your head above your opponent's head. It prevents them from getting back to the feet. And now Bradshaw's in a very dominant position. Top half, Levin, land a big ground upon. And Fadik finished the end of that first round. Huge. They both seem to be enjoying themselves. Smiling at each other here in the second round. Probably definitely behind Jordan Bradshaw here. Yeah. I should keep it down a bit, I can't hear myself think. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely nice left. The beautiful thing that Bradshaw's doing is after he lands a good shot, he's not admiring his work, he's, he's following not, it up yeah. with something. Good work to the body from Doran. There's beautiful work on the outside. But there we are with those big shots from Doran. Digging into the body. Little bit of a head bump. This is, good, this is a good position for Dorn here. He's got a tight body lock, looking for that inside leg trip. 
wasn't successful there, but nonetheless, he still got this dominant position. Possibly trying to creep around the back, but uh, Bradshaw has that deep overhook, which is going to prevent him from doing so. Trying to switch to a single. Could go high crotch here, Joe. He's not quite on the high crotch. I think Bradshaw's done very well by bringing up the knee shield to protect that, but... Bradshaw still landing his shots in this position. Would you say those little pot shots that... The frequency of them can be such a, an irritant. It really puts you off when you're yep. like, you know, someone's hitting you in the orbital with your knuckle. It's, uh, <laughs> you know. Great job to reverse the position here from Bradshaw. May try and just sneak around the back and trip the leg here. They both got, got, got great balance to stay on their feet. Oh, well, and just in saying that, uh, <laughs> Commentator's Brad, curse, Joe. Yeah, he just slipped, but. Doran in on a guillotine, can't quite see how tight it is. Very difficult to see from this angle. I think he's quite safe here. Yeah. Doran trying to, to capture his uh, Bradshaw's arm, but at this stage they're both quite uh, quite sweaty. It might be a bit hard to grip an arm at this stage, but they're out in the open mat. Going to be interesting to see what Bradshaw can do from here. Good job of bicep control. And again, everything's done methodically. The very little wasted energy yeah. here from Bradshaw. Now he finds himself in this half guard position, throwing some nice shots. Looking for a wee door sentry there, but Doran on the leg. Trying to perhaps hit a knee bar, a calf crush in this position. Yeah, he's kind of looks like a... I, I don't think he has anything here. Um, Obviously, he looks are not allowed uh, at the, the amateur rule set, but he can use this here to create a scramble or a sweep and get back to his feet. Again, he's trying to enter into this, this leg attack. Very, you know, very difficult you in the amateur game. It is, and when you commit the leg, you're leaving yourself vulnerable That's for strikes. That's a great point. You have to commit both hands to the leg, yeah. yeah. And if anything, it's bloody exhausting as well. <laughs> and, you know, you can tell by the... Uh, by, he's very experienced, not, not just in striking, but in grappling, wrestling. Uh, from both guys, it's, it's very impressive. Both men biting at the bit to go. Bradshaw is extremely Oh, tiny. big uppercut! Sorry to cut you off there, Joe. A huge uppercut from Paddy. I think he, he threw it. Doran threw a jump and knee from an almost half clinch position there. That was a bit exotic, but uh, he ends up on, on his back here. Uh, Perhaps a little rush of blood to the head. Yeah. I, think he, I think he smelled blood. That's because his nose is covered in it, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but again, this is exactly the kind of position where Bradshaw thrives, solidifying that position, landing strikes. Yeah. He's doing a great job of maintaining these, these wee small positions and throwing strikes. That's something we haven't seen today from some of the fights. You know, yep. they're in these positions, but they're not utilizing them. And Bradshaw is very much maintaining this top, top pressure. I get, oh, look at this. Doran on the legs again. Bradshaw back out. Oh, but eats a big shot there. It's almost as if Doran has learned something new in his, oh, beautiful. Yeah. Sneak out the back. Trying to get in on the takedown. Well, there you are. A DC slam. That was massive, massive slam, but how much energy did he waste there? And he's on bottom again. Yep. Bradshaw is just so good at solidifying position. You know, you can you can tell this is his 18th yeah, amateur oh yeah. MMA oh fight. Yeah. Very good, but Doran is not one to be sitting or resting. He is constantly scrambling, attacking the legs, looking for a way out. It's great work from both fighters. Look, attempting a lockdown here. He's going to try and elevate the hips and attack another leg, but. Bradshaw's doing the right thing. He's using that shoulder pressure to... And he's keeping the hips super low. Just a nice, solid base. Yeah. 
landing enough strikes to keep himself honest here. Yeah. Someone behind is shouting elbow. I might need yeah. to turn around and explain the rule set to them. <laughs> big hammer big, fist big for hammer fists. You know, Doran's making this very difficult for Bradshaw to transition to any new position. And he's landing some nice strikes himself. Ooh, nice up big kick. up kick. But again, Bradshaw just completely yeah. crowding the space, compacting yeah. Doran. Yeah, he's on that leg again. It's risk versus reward with these leg locks, That's you know. It, yeah. It's kind of, kind of got to, kind of got to the point of diminishing returns with it. Yeah. Where it became, Bradshaw became acutely. It wasn't surprised by it then when Doran was exactly. trying it. Exactly. And the, the later the fight goes on, the more sweaty people are. It, the less effective that attack becomes. But yeah. honestly, that was a great, a, a very technical fight from both guys. Yeah. When you're when you're sweaty to the point of being wetter than an otter's pocket, it's hard to get those hard to get those limbs. You find your opponent slipping out. Yeah. And it's hard as well, you know, Bradshaw the whole time, throwing top heavy ground upon, balancing perfectly whenever he was his legs were under attack. He, he did not look phased by it whatsoever. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a free